still all fired up and you've started using AWS. In fact, maybe you're a little bit further down that path and you have multiple different AWS accounts and suddenly things are getting a little bit crazy, a little bit crazy to manage. How do you do this? This is where AWS organizations comes in. AWS organizations allow you to group and consolidate multiple different AWS accounts in one easy to manage location. Instead of having to pay for accounts separately, account A billing, account B billing, account C billing, account D billing, instead of having to manage permissions across all of these different accounts, compliance, governance, I mean, it just ends up a mess. Instead, you can use organizations as kind of like this, this overview, this one place that consolidates all of the billing, all of the access and control, all of the compliance, all of the security, and all of the shared resources. We love it because of those exact reasons, because of the consolidated billing, because of the access control that you can do all from one place, and because of the organizational units, which is basically just a folder structure that we can set up to actually organize your accounts in a structured and easy to manage way. Let's see if we can dive another layer deeper and actually really understand what organizational units are. So within AWS organizations, you can group your accounts into organizational units. You can use them in all kinds of different ways. For example, some companies will group their accounts based on access and security. Others will do it by department, for example, developers or accounting. Others will do it by budget. So they might have one unit that's just for testing. So it should only have a maximum of $500 spent versus their production one, which is going to have a lot more because it's the real life one. When you apply policies to an organizational unit, then automatically that policy is applied to everything within that unit. For example, perhaps with some compliance laws, you can only use a certain number of AWS services and those services have to have a certain level of access and security. To save time, instead of doing the same access and security for every single account, you can just put all of those accounts into one unit and then apply that security policy to the unit and it will then apply to all of the accounts within it. This is super useful and really flexible. So there's lots of different ways that you can set it up and organize it so that it suits you best. Happy learning and we'll see you next time.